The Glowforge is a 3D laser printer that lets you take anything from a pen and ink drawing to something you created with Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and actually print it on wood, fabric, cardboard, even chocolate. By using a high-powered laser focused down to the width of a human hair, it can cut and engrave very precisely, which lets you take your design and actually print something that you can use or that you can sell, something beautiful, something useful, something for your family or something for your business. Traditional 3D printers are like a robot with a tiny hot glue gun. They build things out of layer upon layer of melted plastic. And as the plastic cools, you wind up with something that's made out of plastic. Glowforge uses subtractive technology instead of additive. You start by putting in a piece of wood or leather, fabric, cardboard, and then the laser cuts and engraves that material to produce the result. What that means is the results aren't made of plastic. They're made out of beautiful materials that you can use in everyday life. When I set out to found the company, I wanted to raise investment from professional investors to go take some of the research and development risk out of this project. So we raised money from Foundry Group and True Ventures, both investors with a solid background in hardware companies. Then we launched a crowdfunding campaign because we didn't want to go any further until we were sure that we designed something that people would love and care about. We were very nervous going into it. Wasn't quite sure how successful it was going to be. And I'd gone in and talked to my team and I said, you know, if we sell less than a million dollars of these to the pre-order campaign, then something's wrong and we may need to reconsider. And on the high side, I don't think we need to plan for selling more than five million of those because that seems wildly improbable. So we were kind of shocked when it sold $27.9 million worth of pre-orders in 30 days. And that meant we had to get to a lot of work. We actually brought in more money from our investors because we didn't want to operate the company with those pre-order funds. We wanted to use those just for production. And so we raised additional funds from the same investor so that we could produce a really fantastic product that we felt confident about putting in people's homes all over the world from the very start. We weren't really sure when we started selling it who was going to buy. Was it the cosplayer who wanted to make costumes? Was it the woodworker who wanted to upgrade their work? Was it the family who wanted to give their kids a piece of the future? And it was kind of all of them. What we learned was this tool snapped into dozens of different uses and homes and hobbies and skills in ways that we'd never imagined. We have a pediatric cardiologist who's using this to print a $50 fixture. It's going to replace a $2,500 training system so that cardiologists can try a surgery 20 times rather than just once or twice before trying it on a real patient. Some hardware is built to become obsolete and built to be replaced. We've designed this product over the course of more than two years to be something that we could build on for years to come. And one of the reasons we made the hardware so simple, one button, lots of sensors, cloud control, is this is a platform that we're going to be building innovations and releasing updates to for many years to come. I imagine that we'll be building on this for many years to come and developing new and even more wild uses for the hardware that we're selling today for many years to come. <laughs>